it's too much. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some things that I do during the summer to keep my chickens nice and cool. Um, and also something really cool that I have taught them. The thing I have taught them is coming when called. First step is to get you some chickens. Luckily, I have these young chickens that I've already been really socialized and they don't mind me. Next, you'll want to start preparing them a treat. My chickens love anything soft. So for this treat, I'm going to be making them oatmeal. Now, since I like spoiling my chickens, I'm going to be adding some chia seeds and some smushed blueberries. Then you're going to feed that treat to your beautiful little chickens. And while they're eating it, call, start um, saying whatever you want them to come to like whatever call you want to use that way they associate the call with food doing this a few times a day for about one to three weeks should do the trick Next up is having multiple water sources. I currently have four, three outside of the coop and one inside of the coop. I refresh them once a day with clean, cool water because chickens are like humans. Most animals are actually. They're not going to drink water when it is all sludgy and gross. It's important that they drink during the summer and when it's hot because if they don't drink, then they can die of heat exhaustion. I also like to add ice to the water to make sure it's extra cool. Next step is having plenty of airflow. To do this, I open up the doors on every single side of the coop to make sure that there is plenty of circulation. I also prop up this door with a some sort of either very long stick or a garden tool. Next up, I'm going to take this gigantic fan and set it up in front of the chicken coop to also help with some circulation. Then I waddled off to the back of the house to look for an extension cord, only to find the one that I absolutely shattered with the mower, so I had to go to the shed to look for one. Quick intermission for Seattle showing you what a crow really sounds like. I eventually found a cord that was too short, so I had to go look for another one. I then found this cord. I thought it, I was going to have to untangle this huge mess. Then turns out someone had very smartly French braided this cord so that uh, you don't have to do battles with uh, this cord, uh, but it takes like 10 times longer to unravel, uh, but very smart. I don't know how anyone French braided this cord though. Next, I'm going to clean out the coop because poop gives off heat and I want them to be as cool as possible. So I'm going to clean out all the poop from the upstairs. Now that I got all the poop cleaned out, it really bothered me that the boards were gray instead of brown. So I got a bucket of water and began scrubbing the boards. Um, and I'm very sorry for this awful camera angle that you can't even see what I'm working on. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I just didn't put the camera at a good spot, so very sorry. Then I rinse it with a bucket of cool water to also uh, put some coolness in the atmosphere uh, with the fan so that it's like nice and cool when they come in to sleep in the evening. Then I come in with a towel and dry it off and then we're done. Sorry, we're not done. I have to be responsible and clean up. And also drown myself with the hose for the 10th time that hour 
to cool off. Uh, the Texans are probably screaming at me, but it gets hot in South Georgia too. This is the finished product minus the poop stains because they thought it would be fun to poop all over my brand new clean floor during the night, but yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.